Uh, D-League well underway. Some points of interest for you. The Austin Spurs are on a roll right now with a 10-game win streak. The Reno Bighorns have been one of the stories of the league. They're averaging 141 points a game wow. so far. More on them in just a moment. The defenders beat them Saturday 175 to 152. <laughs> Reno took 63 three-point attempts in that game. Oh, I'm over here fainting. Oh, boy, that's a lot of threes. Mm. Elijah Millsap of the Bakersfield Jam is among the top scorers in the league so far, putting up more than 21 a game so far, and he's with us here on Game Time. Thanks for uh, stopping by, Elijah. A career highs for you in scoring, rebounding, and assists so far. What has clicked for you? Uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys for having me. Uh, what has clicked for me, uh, just being here in Bakersfield, you know, with Coach Nate, uh, having a great supporting cast out here, and um, just playing well as a team. You, this is your fifth D-League season. Last year you played in Israel. You've also had stops in China and the Philippines along the way. And I think, um, I don't know if our fans know this or not, but basically players like you have a choice to make each and every season. Do you go overseas where the money is generally better than in the D-League, or do you stick in the D-League where there are more NBA eyeballs on you? How do you and your agent go about making that choice from season to season? Well, you're making me sound old. Uh, fifth season. <laughs> <laughs> Not my intention. But, uh, it is a choice that we make uh, every year. And, uh, you know, I just felt like this is where I want to be. You know, uh, I played overseas and uh, it just didn't feel right. So I, uh, I'm always left with the, the decision that am I going to go continue to follow my dream? Or am I going to make the money? Uh, this summer, I put all the work in that I need to put, and I felt like uh, this was the best choice for me. You know, it's interesting you said it just didn't feel right, and I've talked to players about this before. It didn't feel right basketball-wise, or was it more of a cultural thing and you didn't feel comfortable uh, playing in another country? I felt comfortable over there. Uh, they made you feel comfortable as far as uh, it's a great experience, uh, but I felt like I have uh, a lot more years ahead of me. Uh, my body is feeling great. You know, um, I feel like it's perfect time to uh, give it another shot. So uh, I decided to put forth all the effort that I wanted to put in, uh, in my body and my mind and uh, focus on trying to uh, make a push for the NBA again. Well, Elijah, we know for me the D-League stands for the Dream League. You're still dreaming of getting called up. You've had a small taste around in a couple of training camps. What has been told you you need to work on so you can get up to uh, the big dance, so to speak, and stay there? Uh, it's funny because, you know, I, uh, I asked, I asked my coach just that, uh, not five minutes ago. And I said, coach, uh, what more, what do I need to do? Uh, what is it that I'm missing? And, uh, he tells me, he says, you're not missing anything. Uh, just continue to do what you need to do, uh, far as, uh, working out, continue to take care of your body, continue to be a pro. And, uh, the things that he said to be reaching is just, you know, limiting my turnovers and, uh, continue to shoot the outside shot and showing these guys I can shoot. Elijah, we talked about those ups and downs. So as a player, for you personally, is it better to hear specifically from a coach some things that he feels like are deficiencies in your game? Or is it more frustrating to hear a coach tell you, hey, look, everything's good. Just wait for your opportunity. Which is worse to hear? Uh, coach is a straight shooter. So uh, I trust his decision making. You know, I trust uh, his judgment and uh, – I'm just out here. I'm just trying to get better. And that's one thing I'm just trying to do. Um, I don't really want to focus too much on the negatives and uh, trying to switch up my game. I just want to come out here and play basketball and all the way I've been playing all these years. And uh, hopefully the team take a chance on me. There are a handful of different styles that have raised eyebrows around the D-League, and you, you've encountered some of those already. You played the Reno Bighorns, who lead the league in scoring and play this uh, frenetic, rapid-fire sort of style. I wonder what the experience was like as an opponent. <laughs> oh, man, it's a track meet playing them guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure I lost at least uh, five pounds every time we played them. <laughs> <laughs> and, Elijah, we know you're a student of the game. Obviously, you have an older brother that's in the NBA. When you say, when you look at your game or you're trying to tell people how you play, do you look at yourself more of a two or a three that fits maybe when you get that call up for the league? Uh, I, I didn't hear you, DC. Would you say you're, you say would, again? Would you say you're a one or a two to kind of help your game to get called up into the league? Uh, I'm a two. Um, 
Uh, defensively, I can guard one, twos, and threes, uh, but I'm naturally a two guard. Uh, I just want to come out and just show guys that I can defend uh, one, twos, and threes, and uh, some some fours. You know, it's a, it's a league where it's a lot of pick and pop fours. So, uh, with my body style, you know, I look at guys like uh, Jimmy Butler, who's six five, six six frame, Damari Carroll. These guys, they came into the league and uh, offensively they wasn't as polished, but uh, they did it with the defense first and uh, they developed. So uh, I look at those guys and I want to be one of those guys that do a defensive first and uh, go out there and just try to develop. Of course, Carroll is your brother's teammate where uh, they're with the Hawks who are rolling right now, as you know. Well, what's impressed you about what they're up to? Oh, man, they're moving the ball well right now. Uh, they're playing together, team basketball, and uh, – they're gelling, you know, um, the system. I think Coach Budenheiser is running is, uh, is fit for uh, the personnel. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's worked for him in Atlanta. Elijah, we appreciate you stopping by. Continued good luck with uh, Bakersfield and chasing your dream of uh, making your way to join your brother in the NBA. Appreciate the time. Okay. Thank you guys for having me. All right, Elijah Millsap with us from the Bakersfield Jam.